Here we have a matrix and we raise it to an infinite power. And then the question is what happens if we multiply that with this, uh, this vector here? So pause the video and see if you can figure out what the limit of this operation is. As usual, in order to help us raising a matrix to a certain power, what's very helpful is looking at the eigenvalues. So let's construct the determinant that will allow us to calculate the eigenvalues of this matrix here. So that's going to be 4.5 minus lambda, 8 minus 2 minus 3.5 uh, minus lambda, and that should be equal to 0. Now to make our life a little bit easier, we're going to multiply everything by 2 so that we can get rid of these pesky decimals here. So this becomes 16, that's minus 4 minus 7, minus 2 lambda, and this thing should be equal to, uh, to 0. So if we continue to evaluate the determinant, first thing is we get minus 63, and then we have uh, minus 18 plus 2 times that plus 14, so that's going to give us minus 4 lambda plus 4 lambda squared, and then finally, uh, this, this uh, product of these two guys with a minus sign gives us 64. And this thing should be equal to zero. So if we rewrite it a little bit, then we have four lambda squared minus four lambda plus one should be equal to zero. And in case you don't immediately see that the solution here is one half, then you just do it the boring old way, um, just solving this quadratic equation. This is an even term, so we can start with minus half of this term, that's 2, plus or minus the square of that term, that's going to be 4, minus the product of that guy and that guy, so that's 4. So indeed we see here that the discriminant vanishes, so there's only a single solution, and then finally we divide by 4. So the solution is... 1.5. This means that we can write our matrix A as a certain other matrix and then 1.5, 1.5, 1, and then Q minus 1. And then in another exercise, we've seen that um, basically the same stability criteria holds in case you have different eigenvalues here. So namely what you should do is look at the magnitude of our eigenvalue and if it's smaller than one, which is what's happening in our case, then uh, what will happen is that if we have this matrix operating upon a certain vector, doesn't really matter what that vector is, the end result is that it will converge back to the origin because of the stability criterion of this uh, particular matrix here.